pacifies here so that they can make it. If I if it weren't for those classifieds, I'd probably gone to one of these big drug companies and say, hey, I got this and have a few friends and so on and sold it, made a lot of money, you would have never heard of this. But this is not for this. This is to prove that there is a God in heaven. His name is Jehovah. And I thank you very much. Are there any questions?
have a fine time with some young ladies and bring home trouble. Now the trouble they bring home results in the old lady at home coming down with diabetes where she was never ever a diabetic all of a sudden and high blood pressure. So we have now had to politicize the diagnosis. Grandma, you got diabetes and we leave it at that. But we, 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 we don't touch the, 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 the other um, RBC that is low and low hematocrit, low hemoglobin. So what you tell them is something close and politically correct. So then are you then saying that it is related to each other? <laughs> yes, there are some relations because yeah. I've seen it in so many cases. And then this cost the government a ton of money because grandma is now in hospital. It will only be a matter of time before grandpa comes in it. And it continues because one gave it to one. Another, another frightening thing that frightens me, even me, is that, take for instance, in the Spanish community, Hispanic community, say in Miami. They live very close. And when I say close, one will be eating, take it from one's mouth and give it to the little one. And so grandma here is used to taking from her mouth and giving it to these little ones. Therefore, the propensity to spread HIV moved from grandma to the little ones. Now the little ones go to school. But like I said, the government does a marvelous job with what they have and with what they have been told. Because not everybody goes to the government and says, these are the true facts. Because really, nobody want to hear the truth. Everybody want to hear a nice, fancy story. Well, a nice, fancy story is that God has given us the cure. But AIDS. And it's called anguish. Thank you. I have a little question which is exploration. You know, I'm wondering since you communicate with the uh, uh, Supreme Power, where is the origin of the, the HIV? Where did it actually come from? Is it you know, like from animals like they say, from monkeys, somewhere or is it is it God's punishment on people? I'll tell you exactly what he told me, where that is concerned. I asked the same question, Lord, where did it come from? And he showed me a test tube, not a test tube, a rubber tube with a T-clamp. And I said, and a bulb at the end, I said, Lord, what does a rubber tube on a T-clamp with a bulb at the end has to do with it. He said to me, the bulb at the end represents the new organisms being generated. The T-clamp and the rubber tube, the T-clamp would represent the, t the, um, the slow release of it and the the rubber tube, meaning it was created in a lab. So let's be reasonable. This thing could have been created in a lab, got out of control, because what it basically says is that here you have a virus, the virus has a biological clock, just like a woman. Because you know a woman who doesn't have a biological clock, it's she stopped having kids at 45, say. Here you have a change in the, um, in the virus. What has happened is that somebody has tinkered with this virus to allow it 